Hello, nerds for Yang. Hello, nerds. 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 Hello, nerds! Nerds for Yang! It's been a while, so I wanted to let you guys know about an exciting new Secure the Yang Challenge. So a lot of people um, have said they enjoyed the, uh, the one that the interview we posted, I think it was now earlier this week, it was Monday, with Andrew. And if you haven't checked it out, uh, please go um, take a look. It's on the Nerds for Yang uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it was a fun conversation. And it was actually even more fun for me this time because we had done the interview before. So I felt like um, a little more comfortable. And then also like from a technology point of view, I had a very good internet connection and a very stable connection. So I wasn't worried about anything weird happening. And anyway, it was a great conversation. And I think people liked it. We talked about infrastructure, Medicare for all, Evelyn, all this kind of stuff. So um, definitely check it out. But some people were saying, hey, uh, are you going to do a third one? And, you know, as we all know, it's really important for Andrew to raise some serious money. And I would argue it's even more important um, this fourth quarter than any other quarter because this is the pre-Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina quarter. Like the money we raise in the fourth quarter, we're going to be able to set ourselves up for success in um in these early primaries. And as you know, like we need to kind of beat expectations. And we also know that we're not getting a lot of love, frankly, from um, the media. And the thing about the media is like every time they mention, you know, Booker or Castro or Harris or Buttigieg, and sometimes, you know, on cable, they'll do it dozens and dozens of times, even for those candidates and hundreds of times for Warren. Well, every mention, sometimes you can imagine is worth like $10,000. So if Buttigieg gets 20 mentions, that's like him raising $200,000 because you can't buy that level of exposure. Even if you did buy ads, uh, a lot of people ignore them versus like, you know, MSNBC, um, visuals or stories where they say, oh, you know, the next debate is coming up and then they'll interview someone and they'll say, who do you think is, uh, you know, really got the best chances, blah, blah, blah. So we have to raise money and I think we need to raise 30 million, um, but we don't need to raise all 30 for this challenge. Uh, we'll play our part. But uh, so let me kind of explain how the, and then um, I actually have to walk <laughs> <laughs> walk the dog in about 26 minutes. Um, let's just get right to it. So here's how it's going to work. In the past, what we did was I had a link and a lot of people, thank you very much, um, donated to the campaign via that link. And we are going to uh, do that again. But so I'm definitely going to have a link and I'm definitely going to ask you guys to help donate. Uh, in fact, my link right now is the same one as last time because we we are just going to track it the same way. Um, but the thing that's going to be different is it's not just going to be me. Um, we are going to open this up so that um, other Yang Gang creators, other influencers, activists, volunteers, Anybody who's interested can express interest uh, and say, hey, I want to participate in this challenge. And then um, that'll be open for the next couple of days. And then this weekend, uh, we will basically the campaign will pick 
uh, who they uh, are comfortable participating. And it's not like they're going to have any crazy process, but they, they, for technical reasons, they can have like, you know, 20 participants because everybody's going to be issued their own uh, act blue link. And then we'll see how much we all raise through the month of um, November. And then whoever raises the most money, um, the top two will be on a panel. Uh, so we'll get Andrew back on uh, video. And the top two will interview him. But then the, a third one will also be a, um, a participant who didn't raise the third most money, but they'll just be randomly selected from, from all the participants as long as they raise like more than 500 bucks. And the reason why we want to do that is like if you say the top three, then it may be just sort of like the people with the biggest followings. And we kind of wanted to add a little bit of a twist to it. And then even if you're not in the top two and you're not one of the lucky three, the other participants, I think we're going to try and hook you up with some, um, you know, some swag, some, uh, you know, uh, T-shirts or hats or something like that. And but most importantly, it's not really a competition like, oh, I'm going to raise more than this other Yang Yang creator because we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to get Andrew to the White House and he needs as much money as he can get. Um, so basically that is how we're going to do it. And if you are interested, or if you have a creator that you think should participate, let me give you the, uh, URL to, um, quote unquote apply. So you go to tinyurl.com slash NFY dash open. And, uh, if you're a creator or if you are an influencer or whatever. All you really need to do is be a person that uh, you think you can get a lot of other people to give to Andrew through your link. So it could be you have a lot of friends, you have a big family, you want to throw a party, or you have a YouTube channel, or you have an active Twitter feed, or you're just big on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, whatever. Uh, all you'll need to do is encourage all of your, your audience to give to Andrew through your link and then the campaign will track it. And then what we'll do is like every week we'll um, have like a little bit of a leaderboard and we'll basically say, Oh, you know, total we want to raise. So, because, so we have a, we're, the goal is all of us together. We want to raise 50 K um, which I think is achievable because for the last one we did 20. And so if it's me, and a bunch of other people raising simultaneously, hopefully we can get to 50 and, uh, and that's it. So let me see if you guys have any questions about how the secure the Yang challenge open challenge is going to work. And, um, if there aren't any, I'll answer those about how this works and why we're doing it or, you know, whatever. And then, um, if we have time left, I'll, I'll, of course, happy to take general questions about the um, the race, and maybe we'll look at some data because this is Nerds for Yang, and we can't do a stream without data. Okay, um, so let's see what the questions are. <laughs> Dro says, just arrived. What's the challenge? Challenge is raising money. The twist, it's like last time, except the twist is multiple people can now uh, voice interest in participating, and then we'll select you know, five, maybe five or six uh, different people, everybody will get a unique link. We'll all raise money towards a goal of 50 K. The top two will, uh, plus one randomly selected. will do a panel interview of Andrew. And I actually think the panel interview of Andrew will be kind of fun. It'll be different than the one-on-one -on -one interview in that we'll kind of get like different perspectives and hopefully like a different vibe from each interviewer. So that's the, uh, that's the challenge. Um, Let's see what other questions you guys have. Uh, Call me Fletch says we're gonna we're gonna smash that fifty. I hope so. I hope so. I really think he needs to raise thirty million. He did ten million last quarter. If everybody gave three times what they gave last quarter, he'll get thirty. If he gets thirty, I think he'll win the White House because that'll give him enough air power to really outperform and and beat expectations in Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina. You get, in my opinion, 
you get fifth in Iowa, people will be like, whoa, he beat Harris. You get fourth in New Hampshire and people are like, whoa, he beat Buttigieg. You get third in South Carolina. Shoot. It's all it's 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 ours if we can be i mean remember what happened with obama he surprised a lot of people people know what he said he had a chance against hillary he surprised a lot of people early and obviously went on and became a pretty successful president all right let's see uh, call me flesh i'm just a normal dude with a couple friends hey you know what fill out the form tinyurl.com slash um nfy open and if there's enough spots, we don't need to just only have it for people with like, you know, big audiences or whatever. Um, so can't hurt to try. So what you do is you fill out that that form and it just asks you for your name and stuff. And then uh, I'll talk to the campaign. I'll say, hey, you know, we got these people that raised their hand. Can we get them? You know, can we can we include all of them or do, can we pick most of them or whatever? And then they'll issue the everybody their own link. And then on Monday... I think on Monday we'll announce who's competing and then we'll get going and raise some money. Um, let's see, see if there's any other questions. The 30 mil, he can do a lot of YouTube ad buy. He can, he can, um, he could, he could get on TV, which I think would be great too. And he can do radio. There's all this stuff that we're, kind of blocked from doing um, because uh, we don't have enough money. Lou, can we enlist the help of other YouTubers like Kai or Paget to promote our donation link? Ah, that's interesting. Um, you could, unless if they're participating, then they might want to promote their own link. I don't know if they're going to participate. I, I hope they will. Um, but you know what? If they're doing so well and they're like number one, then they can promote your link too because they're locked in or they just want to be cool and be humane. Like, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have, I have my own link, but I will gladly promote everybody else's link when I'm on my shows because like, whatever, like we're not, you know, against each other. We're just trying to raise money. Um, what is linked to your Yang Gang content page? Okay, so that was that form was designed assuming most people would have like a channel or Twitter feed or Instagram account or whatever. If you don't have one, call me Fletch, just say, just put like I don't have one.com or I don't have one and see. Hopefully, the form will accept it. Um, let's see. Is there any update on Hannibal Burr's Yang Gang? I don't know anything about that. So hopefully someone else in the chat can answer that for you. What do you think about what you've done so far on Nerds for Yang? Did you expect to do as much? Uh, no, I did not. Honestly, when I started the channel in March, I was like, oh, this guy's so cool. He's really interesting. Um, but there were like 24 other people in the race, right? So the odds were really long. And we'd never seen someone with this type of um, platform, uh, you know, get a lot of attention. Um, and luckily he has, and it's been freaking awesome. And so I've had a lot of fun um, making these videos and doing these live streams and, and just engaging with you guys. Cause uh, I kind of feel like I know some of you, we've been together so long. I feel you're going to, Break 50. Well, shoot, that would be fantastic. We break 50. I have to ask them. So 50, we're going to get a, a, I think it was like a 30 minute interview. But I think if we, if we got like a hundred, we'd have to get like an hour, I would argue. But you know, like obviously he's got a busy schedule, but the main thing is he gets the money he buy, he deploys it with like opening more offices or buying ads or whatever so that he freaking gets, in my opinion, fifth in Iowa, fourth in New Hampshire, third in South Carolina, and we are on our way to the White House, if you ask me. Uh, how did you meet Yang? I have never met him in person. 
I've only interviewed him through video chat, kind of like this, but he's super cool on video. Um, and I hear he's, he's cool in person as well, but, um, we'll see. Maybe someday I'll meet him in person. Um, I'm 19. Can you enter and be under 18? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. That I'll have to leave, leave that up to the campaign. If it were up to me, I would be like, Hey, the more the merrier. We're all trying to help raise money. What's the problem? You're just putting a link out there. You're not taking the money. Um, so if you're interested, uh, and oh, call me Fletch, you already are entering, but if you know someone that's younger, that's fine. Just can't hurt to try and we'll see what the campaign says. Will you ever go to a debate? Well, the interesting thing I've heard is they have a finite number of debate uh, tickets and each campaign, I think they get some that are distributed partly based on your polling maybe. And then most of the tickets are for the party uh, kind of activists and stuff. So, um, so A, I don't know if I would be able to get a ticket. B, uh, since I currently um, work and live in Europe, it's harder for me to get uh, to the debate locations. I, I fly to California a lot for work. Um, but, uh, but you know, it would, it would be hard to get the, the schedule. Although I think it, what I would like to do next time I'm in California is just like, um, go to like a fundraiser or, or go to, if he's giving a speech somewhere, kind of see that, that would be kind of cool. Um, let's see any other questions about this stuff before I think you guys all know about the challenge, right? So let me just show you it one more time. So here's what I would ask of you guys. If you're watching this and either A, you're interested, uh, go ahead and go to tinyurl.com slash nfy-open and fill out your interest form. Or if you're like, oh, I love this Yang Gang creator, this Yang Gang member, go tweet at them and say, hey, are you going to be part of the Secure the Yang Challenge? And uh, because we want everybody, we want as many people to participate as we can. What? Dro says, no, what's the challenge? I thought I told you what's the challenge. The challenge, the challenge is for us to raise 50K and uh, whoever raises the most of top two get to interview Andrew and then the third is chosen at random and then everybody else is probably gonna get some swag, some campaign goodies. Uh, ha, ha, ha. All right, now we're getting, uh, I have not, I have not. I'll be honest with you guys. We had um, performance reviews at work and I got a very good rating, but I was shooting for a really, really kind of special rating. I didn't quite get there. And so um, I promised myself I wouldn't open the box on the Grand Seiko until I got there. But I think I will, <laughs> since Christmas is coming up, I think I'm going to cash in that Christmas chip and, uh, and get, the, get the watch, open up that watch. Because it's actually, it's, it's right over there. It's in a closet right over there. Uh, and it has never been opened since I was at the store. Okay. Um, <laughs> Craig is saying if we get our 50. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> So either Christmas, I could use Christmas or I could say, hey, if we get the 50K challenge, then I should be able to uh, get my watch because I already paid for that watch. I just haven't hit a certain work goal. Um, any rate, uh, <laughs> you're going to give me your time. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, you guys want to unbox it. Well, you guys aren't into not everybody's into watches, but I'd be happy to happy to show you guys. OK, so I think that's good. Um, do we, we need to walk the dog in 11 minutes. So you know what? Should we look at some data while we're here? We got to, right? Let's look at some data. All right. So last thing, tell your favorite creators or yourself, tinyurl.com slash NFY open. We're going to make final selections over the weekend and then announce it on Monday. And then we'd start raising money and we'd be good to go. All right. Now I am going to take a look at um let's look at the latest polls and see how we're doing share screeny boom 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 hey oh by the way happy halloween to everybody happy halloween um 
We had a Pennsylvania poll. Ooh. Well, good thing a Pennsylvania primary is not one of the first three primaries. So only 1% Gabbard. You know, Gabbard, I was so sure she was a she was a goner. And when Hillary went after her, that breathed some life into the Gabbard campaign. Um, I'm not going to say it, but I kind of wish Hillary had said some snark about Yang just so we would get that attention. But I don't think that would have been a good long-term play because Hillary has a lot of supporters and we don't want to be pissing off her supporters. So... Um, 57% disapprove of the current president. There's a shocker. 54 in another poll disapprove. And 58% feel like the country is on the wrong track. Well, they're going to get on the right track once we get the Andrew Yang in the White House. Andrew MF Yang. POTUS with the mostest. Okay. Uh, national primary poll. Yang three. Wow. Gabbard. Dude. Gabbard, man, remember when Gabbard was like kind of the little sibling to Yang? Mm -mm. That national coverage she's getting has been really strong. I'll show you guys in terms of this is uh, now guys, this is the power of that kind of media coverage. I'll show you in a second uh, the data. Um, let's see. This was the latest YouGov Yang at three, one point behind Harris. Harris is spiraling down remember when she was 15 she had to lay off a bunch of staff recently and she's going to go all in on iowa so if we beat her in iowa she's you heard it here she's gonna uh, drop out after new hampshire harris's uh then you've got new hampshire speaking of new hampshire ooh five love it look at steyer three freaking steyer that's the power of money so you see look if you're Steyer and you spend millions of dollars buying ads, you can buy points. I mean, if we spend as much as Steyer, we'd be like 10 or 12 right now. And then if you get a lot of media coverage, you can go from one to five the way Gabber did. So the fact that Yang went to five without any media coverage and without spending a lot of money is a, is a feather in his cap. Ooh, Arizona, we are beating Harris five to four. Ahead of Gabbard, Klobuchar is getting a little breath of life after that last debate. Morning Consult has us at three. Um, yeah, so that's uh, those are some of the most recent polls. But let me do this. Let me show you guys why this media coverage is a big deal. So unfortunately, I should have had this ready, but I wasn't planning on showing data. I was supposed to just talk about the competition for this stream, but you know, um, it's very hard for me not to show you guys data because I feel like, A, I need to look at it just for my own benefit, and B, um, I think you guys, you guys like it. You guys like that data, and so, all right, here, let me go find, where's my link to the media coverage? Uh, here it is. And then go here, here, okay. And I'm going to say share screen. Thank you for your patience. Boom. Okay. So, uh, wow, this browser's jumping around. So here you have total um, national television coverage. Obviously, Biden, 99,000 mentions. Um, eh, you know what's interesting is that you would think Fox, oh, yeah, they actually are mentioning him more because I guess they consider him their arch enemy. Uh, 99,000 mentions. How many did Yang get? 1,960. Um, so that's a problem. In fact, Yang has had um, almost as many... Fox mentions as CNN mentions, but this is like over the course of this whole year. It's not that interesting. This is much better, which is the daily mentions. So if you go back to October 29th, look at this. Biden, 
412 mentions on national TV, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, Warren 90, and Sanders 77. Honestly, each of those mentions is worth like $10,000 in my opinion. And why do I say that? Because if you want to buy an ad, it'll cost you like $30,000. And that's sometimes just a local ad. This is a national ad. So you might cost you a few hundred thousand dollars. And no one listens to ads or doesn't pay attention to ads as much. So when you get an actual mention on an actual, like as part of the newscast, it's worth a lot. So if you just be generous and say, be conservative and say, well, let's not say it's worth 100,000. Let's say a mention is worth 10,000. Well, that means on October 29th, Biden had $4 million worth of free mentions. That's as if Yang raised $4 million and spent it on ads on one day. But, um, you know, look, oh, shoot, hold on, 1029. Gabbard had four. Luckily, we had four. But look who had, like, Klobuchar at seven. Booker, unfreaking believable. Booker had nine mentions to our four. So he had a difference of five. That's worth about 50 grand, that dude. That's as if we just did this whole Nerd for Yang challenge, this whole Secure the Yang challenge in a day. And it's not just 1029. Let's look here. Look here. Look at 1028. 182 for Biden, Sanders 35, Warren 28 mentions, freaking Booker 6, Buttigieg 15 mentions, Yang how many? Where the heck is Yang? At the bottom with Gabbard, zero, zero. So you got Booker and Harris getting tens of thousands of dollars of free coverage every day by CNN, MSNBC, Fox News. And we could go through this over and over, but I just want to make it clear, this is why we do these challenges. This is why we need to raise money because it's freaking BS. Because the, the rest of the candidates are getting all this stuff for free, even though we have stronger polling numbers than many of them. Like we beat Harris, right? Where's a freaking story about us beating Harris? Mm. Evening news. Let's see evening news. Uh, Biden. Well, let's go to the same date. We said 1029, right? Biden, five mentions. Nobody else. 1028. They didn't talk about anybody probably because maybe that was around foreign policy stuff. 1026. Biden, seven. Sanders, four. That's it. I mean, freaking network news is even more stingy. And then online news. Okay, online, we usually do a little better. Let's see. On uh, today, Halloween, ooh. Biden, 4,699 mentions. Warren, 1,628. Where's Yangi? 120. 120. Gabbard had more mentions than us. Bullock had more mentions than us. Klobuchar had tw more than double our mentions. Beto, freaking Beto had 300, almost 3x our mentions. Harris, 3x our mentions. De Blasio, Jesus. God help us. So I think you guys get the point. The media is screwing us. And I say to the media, F you. <laughs> I say to the media, you don't decide who is our president? We as Americans decide. And if we have to offset your bias, your BS bias, we will. And that's why we're going to raise 30 million this quarter and get Andrew the air support he needs. Ugh, crazy. All right. So we looked at polls. We looked at media mentions. You want to look at betting odds? What the heck? Let me pull up betting odds. And then and then I got to walk the dog because um, it's not it's not fair to her. Um, uh, what was it? Predict. Yes. Um, I'm guessing the betting odds are usually very similar to the polls, but let's see. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to share my screeny Chrome tab. There we are. Share. So we've got, oh, I don't think. I thought Warren was higher than 37 cents before. So I think she's kind of come down a little bit. Um, Biden and then Buttigieg and then Bernie, Hillary. 
So we are, the betters think we're a better bet than Harris and Klobuchar and Tulsi, but they think we're a worse bet than Hillary. Do not get me started on why that would be a terrible idea. I don't, I have nothing against Hillary supporters. I'm nothing against Hillary personally. I feel like as a candidate, she has had her chances. It is time for a fresh face. No more boomers. I love boomers. I'm on, you know, I, I, I love them, but we need some new, new, new ideas. Okay. Um, let's see. There's also, what was that other one? Presidential election betting odds. What? Where was that one? I used to have that. There we go. Election betting odds. In the last week, how has it changed? Warren's a little down. Biden's a little down. Buttigieg is up. Sanders is up. Clinton's up. Uh, Yang's up a little bit. So, yeah, the gamblers think we're a better bet than Harris and Gabbard and Klobuchar. Definitely than Booker. Oh, my goodness. Booker. Okay. Even though all that free media coverage, Corey... You are you. You gotta go, man. Um, all right, guys. I've got to run. Thank you for joining. As a reminder, tell all your favorite uh, creators, your influencers, your favorite Yang Gang members that hey, you should join Tom's uh, Nerds for Yang. Secure the Yang Open. If you raise in the top two, you'll be part of a panel interview of Andrew. And then even if you're not in the top two, but you just participate and raise over 500 bucks with your link, you'll be entered in to be the third person. And then even if uh, you don't, you're not the third person, we're going to hook you up with some swag, at least like a t-shirt or something. But ultimately the main thing is like, we all help Andrew get freaking money because the media is suppressing him and it's bullshit. It is bullshit. Okie dokie. Um, I will see you guys later. I also want to end on a positive note, not on an angry nerd note. Here's what's positive. He's at 5% in New Hampshire. All he needs to do is get fifth place in Iowa, fourth in New Hampshire, third in South Carolina. We're good. We're still kicking butt on YouTube, on web searches, on Twitter. We keep growing. He's an amazing guy. Um, He's exactly as he appears in the interviews, very confident, centered, smart, thoughtful. Everything that we do not have in the White House right now. Do not get me started on Trump. I'm not going to talk about him. Crazy, that guy. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Keep it real.